recognize that when I was trying to uh, do a lot of healing and let go of things and it was difficult for me because I didn't forgive myself and I couldn't forgive myself because of a lot of the shame I had and so it was me taking steps back which takes a lot of work which is why it's understandable why you know for so long I only went on the surface on a lot of things there was a point that that no longer um, was in alignment with me. But what ha what happens is, I don't say but, and what happens is, is that when we live a life of anger, resentment, not forgiving, blaming other people, focusing on everything outside of us, um, and not focusing on us, because that's the only thing we can change. So why are we worried about, thank you, motorcycle, Um, when we focus on so many, you know, other people, things or situations outside of ourselves that, you know, takes, um, the focus off of us. And so we're unable to, some of us get to this point where we can't forgive ourselves or forgive other people. And we end up, you know, living a life of very, a very grim life, I should say. So. Oh. Gratitude and indulgence. It's number 36. This sounds crazy. I just heard spirit say somebody's given, somebody's like, uh, uh, like, you know, cheering, like with, uh, like drink glasses, you know, giving gratitude or thanks or whatever. Um, but they're overindulging. Like it's, it's, um, what's the word? Um, um, gluttony. It's like, ah, cheers to us. We just got over on this person. That's a weird message. Somebody's saluting. <laughs> um, their perceived victory over a person or situation. This may not be you. This may just be people in your energy or people you're dealing with or a past situation. Resonates. Whatever resonates, take it. Whatever doesn't, just uh, keep it moving. <clears throat> yeah, I, I see somebody, uh, like a group of, I don't know if it's your family or maybe it's people or 